good morning it is 6 27 a.m on march 23rd we are going to new york today we're driving but there's quite a bit of rain here and there i am in a constant state of anxiety about going on trips i don't handle them very well but i'm getting better especially with driving trips um I breathe, I breathe steadily. I have my pants on. You can hear the rain outside, actually. The sun hasn't even rose yet. Yeah, it's gone. The birds are chirping, so I feel like it can't be that bad. Without traffic, it says it's four hours and 16 minutes to our Airbnb, which is like 10 minutes outside of New York. My best friend and her husband should be here soon, and then we're gonna get going. Many hours later. We made it to the Airbnb. We're in uh, New Jersey. Uh, we're staying in Union City, and it's pouring rain. <laughs> it's funny because you're my best friend in the back. That's her talking. That car broke down, already getting entertainment. I don't really understand what the honking will do, but a lot of people in the, this area seem to enjoy it. Anyway, Airbnb tour, kinda. You walk in here, it's a second level. So you have like a little walkway up here, and then you've got the front door. Then you have a couch that already has my things on it. This is the living room. The dining. The kitchen. The light switches are different here, which is weird. We have two bathrooms. Quite a nice bathroom. Oh, this is nice. This is the other room. This is my room. That I'm staying in. Oh, and there's a window. I love having my windows open. I don't know how these, oh, like that. And you can see the pouring rain of Union City and they have cute little like designs everywhere it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> and then there's this room which has another bathroom in it it's the primary um, this is the one my sister and her boyfriend are staying in because this trip's for her anyway so Um, anyway, so got this and a little mirror over here. Oh, and a closet. Holy shit, this place is nice. This is nice. Nice view of the building. That is all. I'm going to go get changed now. We're going to wait until like it's 3 o'clock right now. We're going to wait until like 3.15 or 3.30 because the rain is off. You can't even see the heavy rainfall, but bro. This is the fit for today. It's giving dad, but also I'll be warm and I kind of want it to give dad because I like dad fits, man. Let me actually cuff the pants. So it's giving less dad and more gay, you know? I want 100% giving dad and I am okay with that. And I'm gonna wear it with black top Martins and my green bomber jacket. I'm gonna go sit on the couch with my friends now. We wound up in the city around 5.30, went to Joe's Pizza, then Times Square, walked around some of the stores there, visited the cathedral and Rockefeller Center. And then we went to the Disney store, which was so cool. It had a tangled hallway. And then we went to Hard Rock Cafe for dinner. Um, we're back at our Airbnb now. It's like 10.45. Um, we walked around the city for a while. We got lost at the bus station um, for like an hour pouring rain. So we didn't get to do everything that we were meant to do today, but I'm hoping to get more footage tomorrow we did see time square and it was beautiful our airbnb the carbon monoxide alarm will not stop beeping probably like right now mm -hmm. tomorrow we're going to the friends experience which is the reason that we're here now i'm gonna go hang out with my friends and watch friends with them it's a friends dream themed trip and apparently the universe knew that and that's why that thing is going off anyways I'm in my jammies now. Bye. Once the weather cleared up, I realized that I could see the city of New York from my bedroom window and I was in complete and utter awe by it. I just sat there and stared at it for such a long time. It's so beautiful being able to see the city lights from there. And I did the same thing the next morning. I, what a view, truly. I also want to apologize. I realize now that I'm editing this that I have such a shaky hand and I'm so sorry about that. That's definitely something I'll be working on in the future. And then I saw a cat sunbathing in a backyard next to us. Uh, this was the start of our second day. This was the Friends Experience Day, Highline Day, and a few other things that we were supposed to get done that we didn't. <laughs> Good morning! It's the Friends Experience Day and we got a lot to do. 
everybody's like a brand of it ready now it's like 8 19 a.m and i've been up since 7 40 staring at the city of new york so this is the base of my outfit this white dress from goodwill jeans from goodwill it's supposed to be oh my relatively windy and cold today. I didn't bring a coat, so I'm gonna layer. I'm gonna tuck the dress into my pants. This is the goal fit, but it's New York and it's gonna be cold. I'm gonna throw this over it and then do my cardigan. I'm sweating already in this. I'm thoroughly warm. This is the fit today, I think. And then if I get too hot, I can take this sweater off. And then if I get even hotter, I can take my pants off. Layering, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go fix my hair. We're gonna be ready to go. We just got off the subway and we took the wrong way and then we ended up in the wrong place. For breakfast we went to East Bagel and it was genuinely one of the best bagels I've ever had in my entire life. If you guys ever visit New York, I highly recommend you eating here. Then after that we went to the Highland and timing didn't necessarily work out so we just left um, like an hour after we got there and went to the Friends Experience. I didn't get any footage there because I was really trying to engulf myself in it and my sister was so excited and we were just freaking out about it. Then after that we headed to Little Italy in Chinatown. The Italian food was okay, the scenery was the cutest, the Chinese food was literally the most awful Chinese food I've ever had in my entire life. I'm so upset about it but that's okay because the lanterns and stuff are really cute. After seeing a guy snort cocaine off his sweatshirt, we headed back to the High Line because I think we were in the wrong part of the city. That's where you can see the show from. Really? Yeah. You guys, we're seeing the High Line right now? Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, and the sun is setting over there? What? We had gone to the Chelsea's Market, which is right next to the High Line, and that was very underwhelming, but this sunset made it all so so worth it after this we headed back to new jersey and we got there i think at like 9 30 or 10 p.m and walked home and we were exhausted <laughs> this, is, oh, fuck it. this is what new york does to you man almost back to the Airbnb. For dinner the night before, my sister and I just door-dashed some burgers. They were all right, but the next morning we got up bright and early, checked out of our Airbnb because this is the day we were leaving New York and headed to East Bagel, got some bagels, and then went straight to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I was so, so excited to go here because I really wanted to explore their Greek mythology and Roman section. And there was really cute booths outside of it where they were like selling things, um, which I thought was super, super adorable. The people were, we're so outside nice. the Met right now. We're about to go in and I bought a hat. It's yellow, it says New York. Um, and now they're looking at art. And then we're gonna go inside. I don't think the camera truly does it justice to how big this facility is. Like, it's humongous. Uh, but after we got inside, we explored a little bit of the Egyptian part, all five of us together. And then after that, we went our separate ways. I went to the Greek mythology section and I stayed there the entire time that we were inside the Met, which was for about two hours. My sister and her boyfriend explored other parts and my best friend and her husband did some other things as well. Um, after that, we wanted to walk through Central Park. But before we went there, we stopped by one of the food trucks right outside the Met and I tried their crepes and I will say they're not that great. I've had better ones at Ren Fairs, but Central Park was so, so pretty. We saw the big five baseball fields. We met uh, dogs. People were really sweet. We're in Central Park. Central Park. Just like in Friends. I have to say one of my favorite parts of this park is listening to other people's conversations. I am nosy. It was really, really, really cute though. It also wasn't that big and there was so much grass, which I was very excited to see after a couple of days of nothing but concrete and buildings. I saw some college students lounging on the rocks, which I thought was super funny. There was a little castle that we saw. Um, and also I saw a dad playing with his daughter. It was so, well, both of his daughters. And there's, there's crossings for bikes, which is so cool. Like there's an entire road just for bikes and they have like traffic lights for them and stuff, which I've never seen anywhere. I thought it was so, so adorable. Uh, and then we walked through and headed to, I think it was the C train to get on that, to head back to Port Authority to leave New York. And damn, it just left. Yeah, it just left. Once we caught our train, it took us back to Port Authority and Port Authority buses took us back to our park and ride that we left our car at for that day. After we left New York and said goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful, amazingly weird, uh, awesome city, um, we decided to head into New Jersey and see the Statue of Liberty from the Statue of Liberty State Park. Uh, you see her backward, but I, I guess it's kind of worth it. After this, we were heading back to dc uh we didn't want to leave too too late so i think we got to the park around four o'clock and then left new jersey and it was like a three four hour ride home yeah it's really small we're, kind of close to it. we're we're really close to it i could probably swim to that actually maybe not i'm not a good swimmer so it's too late in the day to do the ferry ride but there where is it 
It's the Brooklyn Bridge. So it appears that I was wrong about that bridge, and that's not the Brooklyn Bridge, and it appears that it may be that small thing back there. However, we can't be sure, considering I'm not from this fucking place, but there's the big green lady. There's the big green <laughs> I think she's slaying. Hi from three weeks later, me from the future if you will. I have finished editing the vlog and I want to apologize because I thought I got more footage than I did. Turns out that I was just mainly taking pictures and videos of me and my friends as kind of uh, for like the memories kind of thing. Um, and not ones that I will be posting on the internet. If you want to see more of the footage that I took on my phone, you can go to TikTok. I have a little mini New York vlog there. This is kind of the longer one with all the outfits and what our plan was and all that stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, you can subscribe and click the bell. That way, every single time I post a new video, you will get notified. I really hope you enjoyed my rambling and the mess of me. I think that that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which should hopefully, fingers crossed, be out next Sunday. Or if not the next Sunday, the Sunday after that. Love you. Bye.